this is Adam from Me Canto Reviews. Welcome to my demo and review of WP Fresh Start 3.0 by Anchor Shukla. Um, if you're watching this, I just want to take a quick moment to apologize for one of my most recent reviews of uh, Rocket Builder. It was actually a demo, um, and I recorded two demos of that. And I also published the vendors demo on my channel as well. And at the time, I did not realize that Rocket Builder was actually a, a copy of a theme that was created previously called B Theme. So if you happen to catch um, those demos, I just want to say, you know, I apologize for that. And I'm trying to do a better job of researching each product that I review beforehand so that. I know whether you know it's been done before, um, you know, because unfortunately these things go on in our business, and people make money off of ideas that were already, um, you know, already created before. And, and it's not so much a problem to use someone else's ideas, but if you copy that product, pretty much a hundred percent or 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 close to it, now that's that's not good. So, you know, I'm trying my best to basically reduce the number of times that happens as much as possible hopefully it doesn't happen again um, but we don't want to talk about that too much so let's get into WP Fresh Start 3.0 which is why we're here and before I show you this WordPress plugin I want to quickly tell you what it is right now you're looking at my review page which is accessible below this video and it also has um, if you purchase WP Fresh Start through my review page, which obviously you don't have to do, but if you do purchase it through my review page, you will also receive all of the free bonuses which have been listed on the page as well. So you can see that on your own. Now, what WP Fresh Start 3.0 is, is it's a WordPress plugin that significantly improves the blog creation process. By that I mean every time that you install a new WordPress blog, and certain things come with that blog as you're going to see such as the hello world post um, the sample page just things that you end up deleting one by one anyways so it's going to improve that process by taking all of those necessary but mon mundane and time-consuming chores such as deleting those pages one by one and it's going to take those chores that we have to execute one by one every time we start a new blog and consolidate them into one step that takes one click to execute. Now in the screenshot here you can see all of these actions were executed with that one step and it was all done under 10 seconds. Now the great thing about this the great thing about this is that WP Fresh Start is not just something you use for one blog. It's something that you use for every single WordPress blog you create because there's certain actions that you take every time you create a new WordPress blog and what this does it just saves you so much time um, on doing all of those things one by one and even some as, as simple as this plugin is you know it's very it, it, it doesn't do a lot and that's why and it doesn't have to and that's why it's a very affordable plugin uh, as you will see if you you go through my review page but in terms of value it's up there right up there with the very best of products and the most expensive products you see on the market because it gives you something that you can use again and again and again so you know especially if you're creating a lot of WordPress blogs so um, now in short before the, the last thing we're gonna talk about before we get into the demo I just wanna run through the things that you can do with the click of a button using WP Fresh Start 3.0 you can delete all posts and pages, set permalinks to post name for optimal SEO. This is something I always do, and everyone that I know uh, sets their permalinks to post name as well. Um, another thing people do manually delete all comments, stop new comment notifications, stop moderate comment notifications, create pages. Now, this is cool. You can automatically create your About Us, Privacy Policy, Terms of Use, Earnings Disclaimer, Contact Us, Amazon Associate Disclosure affiliate disclosure, copyright slash DMCA notice, anti-spam policy, and medical disclaimer, all of those automatically created for you every time you create a page. Obviously, every time you create a site, sorry. Obviously, um, 
you may not need all of these, so you pick and choose which ones you do want to create. Create multiple post categories, also really cool. Create multiple blank pages and posts. Um, install multiple plugins at once, also really cool. So now let's go ahead and go into my test site. This is a WordPress blog that I use for my YouTube demos. And what I've done before creating this video, I used a, a database reset plugin to bring um, WordPress back to that first stage, like right after you install WordPress. And I'm going to show you what that looks like when we load up the page. So as you can see, uh, up here it says just another WordPress blog, or uh, just another WordPress site. You, you know, that's what it always says when you have just installed a page. Uh, I do have an external pop-up from another test, but that's the only thing you're going to see from another installation or, or my previous work. Um, so you got the Hello World post, which comes with WordPress. No one ever wants that. It ends up getting deleted. You got your test comment. No one ever wants that. Um, there's a sample page somewhere. I don't. I don't know if it's linked through through here, but it's it's there, all right. I mean, if we if we go over here to pages, you will see the sample page right there. All of these notifications are back. Um, you know, just all of that all of that stuff that happens as soon as you create a WordPress blog, and all you ever do is go in and delete it all. So, and you do it one by one. So keep that in mind. Okay, so that's what our WordPress blog looks like right now. Um, now, what we want to do is come over to plugins and add a new plugin because we want to install um, WP Fresh Start 3.0. We want to upload the plugin. And I've copied the path on my hard drive so I don't have to look around everywhere for it. So it's going to be in this folder. There's the small zip file, three, 336 kilobytes. That's all it is. So you grab that zip file, install now. It's going to be really fast because it's such a small file. And then, and then it's going to confirm that it was installed and give you the option to activate, which is what we want to do. So I'm going to activate the plugin. And once I do that, I'm going to see it on my sidebar, WP Fresh Start. So simply click on that. And now it's just one screen. That's all you have to go through to set this up on every blog that you have. Now let me get rid of these. This is not from Fresh Start. Just my general uh, WordPress notifications. So here are all the things that I can do right now with one click. Okay, I'm, I want to do. I want to delete all posts. I want to delete all pages. We're going to set our permalinks to post name. We definitely want to get rid of all that those uh, that one garbage comment that comes with um, the new installation. And here's another thing you can do: stop new comment notifications. Yes, that's that's how you get an email every time someone sends you a, a new comment. That includes all of the spam uh, spam comments you get an email notification for by default. So we definitely want to put a stop to that. Otherwise, your inbox is going to get filled up real fast. Um, and here's here's the thing that I really like. So I want to create an about us page. I want my privacy policy. Uh, definitely want a contact page. But I'm gonna. Um, See if there's anything else we want. Um, we'll do a copyright DMCA page just to show you. Oh, uh, actually, let's okay, let's do that and the anti-spam. All right, and then we come down here. We want to create multiple categories all at once. So all you have to do is type in the name of each category. So we got category one, comma. Category two, you want a comma to separate each category, and you can also have spaces. You know, I don't. You can have a space three. I'm not, you know, doing that on purpose without the space. So that's how you would create your categories. If you happen to know, um, for example, you might have a health category, fitness, diet. I don't know. Um, now if you know what posts and pages you want to create when you create your site, for example, 
if I know that I'm going to write an article about top 10 um, healthy foods and I'm gonna do top five gym routines or something I'm just completely thinking of this on the fly I have no idea um, so if you want to if you want to kind of you know you're gonna write those two posts you can kind of put them there you can put you can create the actual post on your WordPress blog of course it's going to be a blank post but you're gonna have that set up and ready to go for when you're ready to actually publish it with an article now I want to properly format the titles here and if you have plugins that you like to use on all of your WordPress blogs such as Yoast what you would do um, Yoast SEO and pretty link in my case what you do is you'd grab the URL of those plugins and it tells you right here enter wordpress.org URL or zip file URL here separated by comma now I already have my plugins installed on this page on this website so I'm not going to do this one but there's also a button here with load recommended plugins now these are the plugins that that according to anchor shukla he recommends this um, for every new installation you can see that the names there jetpack floating social bar and each one is separated by a comma now let's go ahead and I'll, I'll just leave this one um, I'll just leave a couple of them here just to show you because I don't have social bowl and floating social bar yet so I'll just put them there so now we're ready simple as that we're ready to run and execute all of these actions that we've checked off okay now insta reset before I do that insta reset is just going to do what I did at the beginning um, when I showed you how I uh, reset my database I did that with a different plugin but you can do that as well with WP fresh start but I didn't have it up, uh, activated on my blog yet so I used a different plugin to do that so that means you know if you if something um, maybe you made a mistake here and you want to go back you can do that so let's run this now notice how quick it's going to execute all of these commands okay now now we're done and we can see now first of all I think I said it takes um, 10 seconds less than 10 seconds earlier well I think that might have been less than five for the record I you know that was really fast but anyways we can see the summary of what WP fresh start has done here um, it's deleted all of our pages it just tells us everything it was successful here we can see the categories that we asked to create um, here's all the pages that we wanted to create here's the posts that we wanted to create and it's as simple as that and, and you can do this every time you install another WordPress blog um, so let's go to return make sure that also the, uh, the the plugins that we wanted to install have been activated for us I believe we chose two of those and we'll just kind of verify that everything is there uh, on our WordPress blog so I have a lot going on here um, again I, I've, I've used this website for a lot of demos um, so here is floating social bar that's that's there okay that was installed just now social bowl was installed just now um, so let's come up to posts let's go to all posts and we're going to see top 10 healthy foods top 10 gym routines those were created for us okay um, our categories we expect to be there as well categories are all there diet fitness and health um, what else do we have here comments should be cleared out and they are we have no comments no junk comments nothing um, now pages forgot that one pages that's where we created a bunch of new pages we've got about us anti-spam contact us copyright act privacy policy everything that we wanted is there 
what else did we do? Uh, we went through the plugins. That might be it, actually. So you're not going to see a huge difference on your blog, but you know because this basically what it does is it gives you a clean slate with the click of a button. It gives you clean slate to work with. Well, you can see that we have our our posts there ready to go for whenever we are going to populate them with uh, the articles. You can see the posts on the sidebar here. Um, categories are there. Okay. Um, now, if you wanted to create a menu, for example, you come in here, and uh, if you, so you could see these pages from the home page that we just created. So say, um, edit your menu below or create a new menu. Okay, let's do that, and we'll call it main, and I'm going to create it. We're just going to add all these pages. You know, and and this is just an example for you. We're going to put that in the primary location, save menu, and we refresh here. So now you're going to see all of these pages. So there you have it. Um, that is WP Fresh Start 3.0. And the last thing I will mention below this video, you will see the link to my review. If interested, you can also receive all of the bonuses shown on my review page absolutely free with your purchase of WP Fresh Start 3.0, which is a very affordable and, and not expensive at all. So you're getting quite a bit of value in addition to the purchase of the front end product. So, uh, And then there's only three, three easy steps to claim your bonus and you're good to go. So that's about it for this demo. Um, I just want to thank you very much for your continued support. Thank you for watching this video. And if you did enjoy it, uh, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post these demos every week. I do my best to give you a comprehensive demo. I'm always listening to comments on how I can make my channel better. So you know, feel free to leave your comments as well. Um, and that's about it. So once again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.